name is Zsolt Lavica. I am a professor in the STEAM Education Research Methods at uh, Johannes Kepler University in the Berlin School of Education. And I'm leading the, the doctoral school and I'm training uh, researchers who are doing uh, educational technology and STEAM education research. Originally, I, I studied mathematics and physics and I was supposed to be a mathematician. So I, I graduated in Hungary, in Szeged, uh, near the, the Serbian border. And then uh, I started my PhD in applied mathematics in the, in the University of Cincinnati in the, in the US. And um, I started teaching uh, mathematics with computers. <clears throat> and I realized that it's very important that uh, we, we should uh, integrate technology. And um, I changed to mathematics education and then went to the University of Michigan, where I did my PhD on how mathematicians are using uh, technology for, for uh, university students. And uh, afterwards, I went to Cambridge. And then I worked in Cambridge for 13 years to train researchers and then mathematics and then and STEM educators. And uh, afterwards, we, I was working with uh, GeoGebra. So I was developing the community of, uh, of GeoGebra. So we had a very big impact with uh, the technology. So there are more than 100 million students are using uh, GeoGebra. So um, afterwards, I came to Linz to establish the, the Linz School of Education together with Markus Hohenbater. And then now we are training researchers from all over the world here. So I think um, then the most important that we need to train the teachers and then also train the teachers in a way that they should believe that technology can be used in the classroom. Because many times what we feel is that the teachers don't have a confidence with the, with the technology. And essentially we need to, to teach them that to accept that the students are better with the technology than many of the, the teachers. So we need to have in this kind of confidence to, to, to do this. So in, 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 that, in that case, then, then the teachers work together with the, with the students. And then many times the, the, the students are, are better with the technology, but the teachers would be listening. And then I think if we can change this kind of confidence issue, then we will be able to, to integrate technology much more into the classroom. So we had uh, many projects with, uh, with very limited uh, resources. And um, it turns out that man, many times the, the limitation of the resources is an advantage. So when, when I was in Cambridge, for example, uh, we had a project with, um, with uh, students in Uganda, and then we compared them with uh, the students in Cambridge. And it turned out that uh, they were much more creative uh, using the technology because uh, they, they are using the technology from a, from a different uh, perspective and uh, they were much more creative and then the students in Cambridge had uh, in this kind of uh, opportunity to, uh, to use technology all the time but they were more concerned with and then more traditional in a way to, to use in this uh, technology. So limited resources sometimes can be an advantage and uh, also we have um, lots of projects in latin america like in uh, uruguay and uh, argentina and chile so um, the, the the governments are, are giving resources for the students but the most important is uh, is training the, the teachers so then that's what we are uh, trying to have and and includes uh, everyone in the, this kind of process we already have a good scenario <laughs> uh, with uh, GeoGebra, so it's uh, used essentially in all of the all of the countries. But the, as I said, the, the most important that we need to to convince the teachers that this is a possibility, and then also it's not possible to use education technology in one day, but we should give the opportunities for the teachers, and then they should. And design their own uh, own classes, and then use the technology for their own teaching style and then for all uh, circumstances. So essentially, 
we need very well trained teachers and then telling them that students are good, they, they should inspire the students, they should uh, ask good questions, but uh, there is no one way of using technology. So I think there is no other way than, than transdisciplinarity because uh, the, the world is very complex. And then uh, in the, the past 100 or 200 years, this distinction of subjects is, uh, is an artificially uh, divided. If you look at the, the industry, if you look at uh, jobs, everything is transdisciplinary except in schools. But I think uh, now we are approaching that we are going getting back to the, to the basics with this kind of uh, transdisciplinarity and multidisciplinarity way. So there is no other way to, to do it. So I think the, the most important is that they, they should do what they like. Because uh, if, we, if we can let the students uh, imagine that what is important for them and then also solving uh, issues when, which is important for the students, then that, that is the, the most important. And technology gives the tool, the, the, the schools and the teachers should be giving the opportunity to use in this kind of tool. So essentially we just need, need to find projects and then let the students do it. And, um, if we, let the, if we let the students do their own um, ideas, then we can be quite successful. So we, we cannot really miss uh, AI in, in, in education. And um, AI is, uh, is, is one, one, one of the, 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 the tools. And then AI is probably not artificial intelligence, but it could be like assistance for the, 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 the people to, to use in this kind of in, uh, intelligence. And then it, it could be a supplement of, uh, of everyone. And that if we start to think differently about AI and then use it as a tool, as a, as a useful tool to, to do it and then use it uh, ethically, I think then that is, that is important for education. And then not really just to mystify but what is uh, uh, AI because it's it's more like a predictive algorithm.